Hello, welcome to a new video on my channel. For this video, I wanted to create a project in which I use all my professional quality art supplies and show you my process in the meantime. I have other professional quality art supplies which I use in my artworks, but these ones are which I grab more often. If you are not familiar with my illustrations, I create black uh, line art first and after that I color it. So because I like to create small details in my illustrations, for the line art I use different size of fine liners. Mostly I use the 0.3 size. Since I create uh, illustrations, I tried out some different fine liners and at this point I know what I like and what I dislike. For years I used only Stadler pigment liners which are waterproof, but for a year or so I switched to the Faber-Castell pigment liners because I noticed that these fine liners are filled with a more darker black ink than other brands. As for the favorite uh, paper or pencil, I don't have a favorite brand or type. Uh, in particular. For the paper, in general, I use whatever textures I want to achieve in my illustrations and for the pencils, I use uh, any pencil which I have on my hand when I want to sketch out something. Sometimes I use a regular graphite pencil and sometimes a mechanical pencil, depending what I have on my hand. After I am done with the line art uh, for my projects, I use a kneadable eraser to lift out the graphite from the paper and to clean my line art. When it comes to the black ink, as I mentioned in a preview video of mine, since I create traditional illustrations, I tried out some different uh, black inks to see what I like and what I dislike and all the time I am coming back to this cheaper alternative of drawing ink which is from Koinor. I really like this one because it's uh, water resistant and I can go over with watercolors and don't reactivate at all and has a matte finish compared to the other Indian inks which uh, has a more glossy finish as I noticed when you use the ink as true black. And as I said, this ink is quite cheap and affordable and I can use as much as I want because I know that it's reachable in my country very easily and um, I can buy it anytime because it's only a few Romanian lace. When comes the coloring part of the illustration, for the base layer I love to use watercolors. And as any traditional artist I own and I tried out a few watercolor brands, but the Porubens watercolors are the set which sits all the time on my work desk 
and as you can see I already used a lot some of the colors from this 48 set. Of course you don't need to have such a big uh, color selection already mixed. If you have a smaller uh, palette you can mix your own colors very easily. And I love this watercolor set because it's a professional quality watercolor set and they are very pigmented and very easy to work with. When comes to the brushes, when I want to create uh, large uh, washes of watercolors, I use this big squirrel watercolor brush which is a Munkachi brush. I grabbed it for from a local art supply store and I use it only to create underpaintings for my illustrations. And for smaller detailed brushes I use these white uh, brushes. I don't even try to pronounce the name. These ones are a little bit more expensive than other brands but worth to invest the money in these ones because they last you a long time. I bought only a few of them a few years ago and I still use them. And when it comes to the shading in my illustrations, in the last few months I really love to use on the top of the watercolors colored pencils. And whenever I want to create an illustration which I want to sell it at one point, I grab my Polychromos colored pencils. And as you can see, I really use these colored pencils and the good thing is that they are available on open stock and I already replaced some of the colors. They are light fast as any professional art supply and the nice thing is that you can sharpen them at a very sharp point to create the small details with it and these colored pencils are also layering on each other as many times you want if you are a, an artist which loves to layer the colors a lot of times on each other and create different colors directly on the paper. And because they are available on open stock, I'm not afraid to use uh, the color pencils because I know 
if I run out of any color, I can run to the nearest art supply store in my local area and buy another one. And when it comes to the white gel pen, I love the Uniball Signo white gel pen. I also tried out the Sakura white jelly rolls, but this one is better than that. Hope you enjoyed this video and if you did so, let me know in the comment section or give it a like. I will list all the art supplies which I used in this video in the description of the video. And if you want to create a separate video for the budget studio quality art supplies which I love, let me know and I will create that video as well. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.